Hello and welcome back to the Scholar Box. We're on day six now and today we are going to make some seals with that sealing wax we made yesterday. All right, forgive the noise. I apologize. The double burner from the last episode is uh, still going. Hasn't been going for 24 hours, but I'm double stacking this video, I'm afraid. Um, I'm going to use the leftover from yesterday's video to make today's video. I want to make you some pre-made seals that you can just glue onto your work and I'm going to show you some techniques and whatnot as to how to make your seals look fantastic. Okay so I'm just going to use my spoon to spoon out the wax and I'm going to put it on to this greaseproof paper so that it doesn't stay stuck and basically I can give you a little thing to glue onto your own letters. So goes. Okay, so as you can see I have collected a fair amount of twaddle together. I've let this cool down so I can take that off and because I've done this onto some greaseproof paper I can just take those off and that is now available for you to either glue or maybe heat it up a little bit and press onto your own letters without disturbing that face. Isn't it pretty? I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So that's number one done. I'll do another one with that one, the same, and then we'll start using some of this good stuff. There we go. So you've got two of those nice simple ones. Now we're gonna get a bit more exciting. So most people, it doesn't exactly escape their attention that I am essentially a goblin. Um, I can't help it. I spend most of my time collecting, well collecting what can only really be described as crap. Um, here we are. Um, I like to collect flowers and press them. I've got a special press that goes in the microwave and does them quickly, but you can use like a book press or put them into a book. Uh, you can use one of those ones with the little screws. But I've got a load of these. I've got lots of like dried flowers I collected over the summer. Um, little things like this. These roses actually came out of a tea that someone bought me. Um, they're really sweet, they smell like peaches, but I'm not a massive fan of peach. But yes, I've got all sorts of stuff um, that I'm going to put into the into the wax. I've got threads, I've got ribbons, I've got feathers, I've got these nice macrame thread. And I think we're going to start with this. So, I'm going to cut a couple of lengths of this. So I'm just going to dip this end, the, cut it straight first, there we go, and then straighten it out, and I'm going to do it again. I just want to keep the ends together. doing this one. Right, I'm also getting to the end of the uh, batch I made earlier, so I'm just going to grab the bowl with these, with my protections on. And I'm use the bowl from here. Pour some of that wax onto the ends of these strings. Now you can do this directly onto your letters. Uh, I'm actually quite fond of it. I think it just, you know, getting a bit inventive with what you're doing with your letters makes it more exciting for the person receiving the letter. You know, you're showing them that you care. Show those people that they mean something to you. Which side should we do? Moon? Moon. So with this one, the idea is that you can tie the letter up 
with the threads and seal the thread on so that the letter can't be opened by mischievous prying eyes. Just let that sit on there for a bit. Ta -da! Then once you've made your letter, you can fold it up and then just glue gun it down. I've given you a lot of extra, but you don't have to have that much. You can cut that thread. You can do whatever you want. They're your seals. Here we go. This is what I was trying to explain. Uh, I actually did this directly onto a letter that has yet to be delivered. Sorry, Reese. It's so spicy. I don't want to send it. But yeah, all I did was tie out the letter with the with the string and then put some wax over the top of it and tied it and splatted it with my thumb. Right, we'll do one more with this wax and then I shall let you all go. Well, I'll, I'll show you some other bits as well. Well, I could probably do one more seal. Good gravy, that's hot. So this time I'm going to get some extra little bits. Which what should we put in there, Matt? This yellow flower. Yeah. I can't pick it up. That looks like it should be a sunshine to me. And you can do all kinds of stuff with your seals. You can sprinkle glitter onto them, you can sprinkle petals onto them, you can really just go ham with it. Use it to tie them up, you can... Yeah, so much you can do. You should go mad, experiment. Make people feel good about the letters that they receive. So, here you go. I've made you some seals. I hope you enjoy them. I hope they prove to be useful. Just as the last thing that I did, I didn't actually film it, was I used some of these marker pens to colour in the top faces. You see? Just to make them pop out a little bit more. Uh, I haven't gone super adventurous. I'm hoping to have inspired you lot to do the adventurous part. So yeah. Enjoy making your own seals, please. Make them fancy. Make the person you're sending a letter to feel loved. Make them feel like they are worth everything.